Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of trigonometry. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, it is taken from the year 2004 and the question which is given to us here tells us if u is equal to root of a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta plus root of a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta then we have been asked to find the difference between maximum and minimum value of u square so we need to find the difference between the maximum and minimum value of u square and there are four options given to us here the first option which is given to us is a minus b the whole square second option is root of 2 times root of a square plus b square. Third option, a plus b the whole square. And the last option given to us is 2 times a square plus b square. So this is the entire options given to us. We need to figure out which of them is the correct answer for the difference between maximum and minimum value of u square. So let's square this u. So if I square Squaring both sides, I get u square is equal to square root of a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta plus root of a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta the whole square. So you have a plus b the whole square that gives you a square a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta plus b square so a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta. plus 2 a into b so a is root of a square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta into root of a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta. So you get this entire expansion. If I solve this, I get a square common. So you get a square common cos square theta plus sine square theta plus b square. You again have sine square theta plus cos square. These are your first two expansions plus two times root of. If root of a into root of b is there, I can just write that as root of a. into b so you get this entire expression now what i get here is from the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 here also it is equal to 1 so you get this a square into 1 as a square and b square into 1 as b square so u square basically becomes a square plus b square plus 2 root of, let's solve that. If I solve this bracket, a square cos square theta gets multiplied with the entire thing. So first if I multiply a square cos square theta and a square sin square theta, I get a raised to 4 sin square theta into cos square theta plus a square cos square theta multiplied with b square cos square theta. So a square b square cos raised to 4 theta. plus b square sin square theta multiplied with a square sin square theta gives you a square b square sin raised to 4 theta plus the last idea b square b square sin square theta with b square cos square theta so b raised to 4 sin square theta cos square so you have b raised to 4 sin square theta so you get this entire thing that becomes a square plus b square plus 2 root I can write that as a raised to 4 and b raised to 4. So a raised to 4 plus b raised to 4 
बिकॉज आई कैन टेक साइंस में थीटा इंटू कॉस में थीटा कॉमन फ्रॉम दिस टू टर्म्स plus here i can take out common from these two terms as a square b square b square b square sin raised to 4 theta plus cos raised to if i try to solve it further i get a square plus b square plus 2 times root of a raised to 4 if i write sin square theta into cos square theta with a raised to 4 plus b raised to 4. plus if i want to write this I can write sine raised to four theta as sine square theta, the whole square. So a square and cos raised to four theta as cos square theta, the whole square. So b square. So if I want to write it, I can write this entire thing as a square plus b square is equal to. I know a square plus b square plus two ab is equal to a plus b the whole square. So I can write a square plus b square as A plus b the whole square minus two ab. So if I try to write this entire expression in that terms, I can write it a square b square. I can write it in this terms. So a is sine square theta, b is cos square theta. So a square plus b square, I can write that as a plus b the whole square. So sine square theta plus cos square theta the whole square minus two. A B so sine square theta into cos square. So you get this entire expression in the root. So if I see u square becomes a square plus b square plus two times root of sine square theta into cos square theta, which is multiplied with a raised to four plus b raised to four plus a square b square. You have sine square theta plus cos square theta, which is one. So one square is one minus two sine square theta cos square. Theta. Again, from here also, if I try to take out sine square theta cos square theta common, I am left with a square plus b square plus two times root of sine square theta cos square theta a raised to four plus b raised to four. From here also, if I take out sine square theta cos square theta common, you get minus two a square b square. So minus two a square b square. Plus, you would be left with only a square b square. Further, if I try to solve it, I get a square plus b square plus two times root of sine square theta cos square theta. I can write this entire thing as this is a square whole square plus b square the whole square minus two a square into b square. So a square plus b square minus two ab. Plus a square, so you get u square is equal to a square plus b square plus two times. Also, if I try to convert this in terms of sine theta or sine of double angle, I know sine two theta is equal to two sine theta cos theta. So if I want to write sine theta cos theta, I can write that as sine two theta by two. Or if I'm squaring both the sides, I can write sine square theta cos square theta as sine square two theta upon. So instead of sine square theta cos square theta, I can write this entire thing as like this: sine square two theta upon four. Here you get this as a square minus b square the whole square because you get this as A square the whole square plus b square the whole square minus two a. So we're getting it in terms of a square plus b square minus two ab, which is expansion of a minus b the whole square plus you have a square b square. So from this expression, if I multiply four here and take this four out from the root, u square becomes a square plus b square plus two times root of. You will be left with a square minus b square, the whole square, sine square, two theta plus four a square b square, the whole upon root of four, which is so two and two gets cancelled. You are left with two u square as a square plus b square plus root of a square minus b square, the whole square. 
sine square 2 d bar plus 4 a square. So you get this entire expression of u square. Now let's just find the minimum and maximum values of this expression which is simplified here. Let's do that. So if I try to simplify this, I have only one trigonometric ratio here, which is sine. So sine ratio, I know sine of 2 theta lies between minus 1 and 1. So when sine of 2 theta lies between, sine of any ratio lies between minus 1 and 1, the square of that can never become negative. So the minimum value will turn out 0 and the maximum value will turn out 1. So if I'm multiplying sine square theta, sine square 2 theta with the square of a square minus b square here. Let's see what it means now. So if I multiply both sides by all the three sides by a square minus b square, the whole square, I get zero multiplied with that still remains zero. Less than or equal to a square minus b square, the whole square. Sine square 2 theta, which is less than or equal to a square minus b square, the whole square. Now, I also need to add 4a square b square because we need to find the minimum and maximum value of this entire expression. So I get this. If I add plus 4a square b square throughout with all the three, I get the minimum value turning out 0 plus 4a square b square. That gives you 4a square b square. This becomes a square minus b square, the whole square, sine square, theta, 2 theta, into plus 4 a square, b square. And the maximum value turns out to become a square minus b square, the whole square, plus 4 a square, b square. So if I simplify this idea, I get 4 a square, b square, less than or equal to a square minus b square, the whole square, sine square, 2 theta, plus 4 a square, b square, less than or equal to, if I solve this expression, I get a raised to 4 plus b raised to 4 minus 2 a square b square plus 4 a square b square. So if I try to solve this part further, plus 4 and minus 2 makes it plus 2 a square b square along with a raised to 4 plus b raised to 4, which is the expansion of a square plus b square the whole square. So your entire expression turns out to become 4 a square b square less than or equal to a square minus b square the whole square sine square 2 theta plus 4 a square b square less than or equal to a square plus b square the whole square. So you get this entire expression. So for the expression which is present inside the root, you have the minimum value and maximum value of that. So if I try to find the first minimum value of u square, Minimum value of u square becomes a square plus b square plus root of we had a square plus b square plus root of the entire expression and we just found the minimum value for the entire expression. We know minimum value is 4 a square b square. If I put that here, that turns out to become a square plus b square plus this becomes 2ab. So if I see, it is nothing but the expansion of a plus b. So you get minimum value. Let's find maximum value. Maximum value of u square we have here is a plus, again, a square plus b square plus root of maximum value also we figured out that was a square plus b square the whole square. So if I take square and square root, that makes it a square plus b square plus a square plus b square. So you get two times of a square and b square. So you have maximum value also, you have minimum value. Just find the difference between the maximum and minimum value of u square. Difference is maximum value of u square and minimum value of u square. We just found the maximum value of u square that comes out to become 2 times a square plus b square minus minimum value of u square if I figure out it was a plus b the whole square. So if I substitute, I get this becoming 2 times a square plus 2 times b square 
minus the expansion of a plus b the whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. If I solve it further, I get 2a square plus 2b square minus a square minus 2ab minus b square. So 2a square minus a square gives you a square. 2b square minus b square gives you b square minus 2ab. That is expansion of a square minus 2ab plus b square. That is expansion of a minus b the whole square. So from this expression, we get the difference between maximum and minimum value of u square as a minus b the whole square. And if you see the expression that gives us the correct answer here is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question which is given to us here. That is the difference between the maximum and minimum value of u square. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of expressions. So first we found the u square. We tried to simplify that entire idea. We got that simplified in the terms of this entire expression. Then we figured out minimum and maximum value of sine 2 theta, then sine square 2 theta. Then we figured out minimum and maximum value for the entire expression inside the root, <coughs> which was this. We figured out minimum value and the maximum value for that root. And once we figured out that, we found minimum value of u square and maximum value of u square. And then we just calculated the difference between them. That gave us A as the correct answer for the I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on trigonometry. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other questions from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains as well as 11, 10, 12. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JWE. Thank you.